St. John's wort. What is it and can it help with depression? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at the science behind St. John's wort, answering four key questions. What is it? How does it work? Is it effective? And is it safe? So that by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you should be using St. John's wort to treat depression. But first, g'day legends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the traveling scientist, currently living here in Jindabyne, Australia. And on this channel, we explore science-based techniques and ideas to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. Now, I've recently made a video all about the causes of depression, and you can check that out just up here. And if you ever struggle with depression, I've actually got an e-booklet called Top Tips for Dealing with Depression. And it's totally free. If you're ever struggling with depression, you can download it anytime from the description just down below. So what is St. John's wort? Also known as Hypericum perforatum, I think that's how you pronounce it, St. John's wort is a bright yellow flower that grows in forests and fields. The name comes from St. John's Feast, which is a celebration that usually happens around the summer solstice, which is the best time for harvesting these flowers. And the word wort typically means a type of flower that can be used as medicine. It's not like a gross skin thing. That'd be weird. St. John's wort has been used by humans for centuries, and nobody ever really knew how it worked. They just knew that when they ate this flower, it made them feel really good about themselves. More recently though, scientists have figured out that St. John's wort is effective for treating depression. And we think we know why. St. John's wort works as a natural serotonin reuptake inhibitor. That means that it increases the activity of serotonin in your nervous system. And serotonin is a happiness hormone. So more serotonin means more happy. St. John's wort can also have positive effects on your dopamine and noradrenaline levels. And all of these hormones can be really beneficial for the treatment of depression. But can this flower actually treat depression? There have been many research studies that compared the use of St. John's wort against traditional antidepressant medications for the treatment of depression. And a 2008 review compared 29 different studies involving over 5,489 patients. And it concluded that taking St. John's wort for the treatment of depression is more effective than taking a placebo, equally as effective as taking antidepressant medication, and it has fewer negative side effects than taking prescribed antidepressant medication. So it seems that St. John's wort is proven to be an effective supplement for the treatment of depression. However, before you go off into the fields to start eating random yellow flowers, there are a few different factors you need to consider such as current medications you might be taking, the severity of your depression, and of course, the side effects of St. John's wort. The main side effect associated with St. John's wort is serotonin syndrome, which is especially important if you're taking antidepressant medication, or any medication for that matter. Serotonin syndrome is essentially an overload of serotonin, or the happiness hormone, in your nervous system. And I know, too much of the happiness hormone doesn't sound like a problem, but trust me, it is. Symptoms include agitation, speeding up of the heart, increase in blood pressure, a rise in body temperature, and even hallucinations, and not the good kind. Serotonin syndrome is not fun, so please talk with your doctor before taking St. John's wort or any medication that's going to alter your serotonin levels. St. John's wort also gets metabolized alongside other drugs in your body. So if you're taking any other medications at the same time as St. John's wort, they might not be as effective and there could be other unpredictable side effects. Finally, pregnancy is another really important consideration. If you have a uterus and if you're on any sort of hormonal birth control, if that is the case, St. John's wort could lead to irregular menstrual cycles, and if you're really unlucky, unplanned pregnancies. Oh no, 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 no! Essentially, don't take anything in conjunction with St. John's wort on the slight chance that it could have negative side effects. On the other hand, if you don't take any other medications and you're feeling a little bit depressed, then St. John's wort could be very effective at improving your mental health. Try taking a dosage of 500 to 1000 milligrams every day for a few weeks and see how it makes you feel. Let us know how it goes in the comment section down below. And thanks so much for watching Legends. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Also known as Hypericum perforatum, Hypericum, per Hypericum perforatum, Hypericum perforatum, Hypericum perforatum, I think that's how you pronounce it. Also known as Hypericum perforatum, 